The reason I'm making this video today is I've seen a lot of comments and questions on the Adobe forum about uh, downloading and installing Adobe Captivate. It seems there's some confusion there. So I'm going to take you through my process today and hopefully make it easier for you. I don't typically use adobe.com. I'll typically go over to the prodesigntools.com website and from there you can actually download uh, a lot of things related to Adobe, including Creative Cloud and of course Captivate. So I'm gonna click on the Downloads tab here at the top here. This is gonna take me to the page where I can then scroll down and find the links for Adobe Captivate 2019. So I'm gonna click on the title for this article to be brought to this page. And if I page down a little bit, we'll see that there's uh, a couple of steps to this process. It's pretty straightforward once you've done it once or twice or seen it done once or twice. So in this case here, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to sign in with your Adobe ID uh, or take a few minutes to create a free one, which you can certainly do. Uh, in this case here, we just follow this link to this particular help page that's related to Adobe Premiere Elements. I know you're not downloading Premiere Elements. That's okay. It's just to make sure that you're signed in. And you can tell uh, when you're signed in, you'll see your avatar in the upper right-hand corner here. So once you've uh, ensured that you're signed in or created a new Adobe ID, you can return to this download page. And you'll see, of course, links for uh, the Windows install as well as links for the Mac install. Now, you might be wondering why is there, you know, three different downloads for each version, Mac or PC? The reason is, is that the main installation for Adobe Captivate 2019 is 2.6 gigabytes in size. And the two optional installs, although... Uh, they are highly recommended, are 1.5 gigabytes and 1.8 gigabytes respectively. So these are very large downloads. Having them in a single file would probably uh, be a little difficult for some users to download. So they've split it up into the main core program and the two optional installs. So in the case of the two optional installs, what the e-learning assets contain are, you know, sample projects, cut out characters, and things of that nature. The third uh, download is the NeoSpeech text-to-speech converters. So if you don't require text-to-speech technology, you could, in theory, forego that download. I recommend installing everything anyway, uh, simply because at one point in the future, you may need something from uh, one of the two optional uh, installs. So having it already installed saves you having to find these links later on. So to start the process off, I'm simply going to click on the main program download here. And it's going to prompt me to save this. I'm going to save it to my desktop um, and also the e-learning assets. And finally, the NeoSpeech Voices text-to-speech converters. Now, the whole process of downloading and installing Captivate 2019 probably takes the better part of an hour. Um, so I would make sure that you've set aside enough time to do this. Uh, don't start this process if you have other things to do on your computer um, or you're about to go to a meeting or something like that. So once this is done, I'll return and we'll continue the process from there. So once your downloads have uh, arrived on your desktop, you can close your browser as I've done here and you can begin extracting the files and folders needed to install Adobe Captivate. So the first, uh, the first item I'm going to work with is the core Adobe Captivate uh, installation itself and uh, that's Captivate underscore 2019 underscore x64 underscore ls21. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click on open and this will begin the extraction process to create the installation files. So I'm just going to click on next here. 
And once your files and folders have been extracted, the Adobe Captivate installer will run and give you the opportunity to install Adobe Captivate. And as a bonus, you get the Adobe Media Encoder as well. Uh, this is required, of course, when you're including video in your Adobe Captivate projects. Uh, from time to time, the video may need to be re-encoded in a format that's compatible with Adobe Captivate. I'm going to go with the default language and location here, and we'll click on Continue to begin the installation. And of course, once the uh, installer is finished, you'll have Adobe Captivate installed, as well as Adobe Media Encoder, so you can click on Close. Next, we'll run the text-to-speech voices. Let's right-click on that and open. We'll click Next. And once those files are extracted, you'll have the opportunity to run the installer. We'll hit Continue. So the NeoSpeech text-to-speech converters have been successfully installed. We can click on Close. And last but not least, we'll right-click on the e-learning assets and run those as well. Click Next. And once the Captivate assets have been extracted, the installer will run. And like before, we'll hit Continue to install to the default location. And at this point, your installation of Adobe Captivate 2019 is complete. You can close the installer. And actually, you can delete these original downloads here. What I like to do, though, is keep the extracted files and folders here. And I typically take these two folders, the uh, voices as well as the e-learning assets, and store them inside the Adobe Captivate 2019 folder. And this will be my backup in case I need to reinstall Captivate in the future. So let's start Captivate and do one more thing that I recommend that you do. So I'll launch Adobe Captivate. And before I start building new projects, what I like to do is go into the Help drop-down menu and check for updates. In this case here, you can see that the original version of Adobe Captivate 2019 has an update. Update 1 is available, and I can choose Update Now. If I do that, I'll get a warning, and it's going to say it wants me to close Captivate to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and close Captivate at this point, and now hit Continue. And of course, my copy of Adobe Captivate will be updated to the latest version. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.